In this quick After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create a stunning 3D sliding text animation using just built-in tools and the Cinema 4D renderer. Whether you're a beginner or just want a smooth kinetic look for your next project, this is the trick you need. Let's roll the intro. All right, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I'm naming mine Quick 3D with a full HD resolution. Before you hit OK, head to the 3D Renderer tab and switch it from Classic 3D to Cinema 4D. This step is essential because it enables 3D extrusion capabilities for text, shapes, and vector files right inside After Effects. Click OK, then grab the text tool from the toolbar and click anywhere in the composition to begin typing. I'm typing the word moon and using the Technocra font. You'll find a link to download it in the video description. To make the text 3D, click on the 3D layer switch icon next to your text layer. If you don't see this option, right-click the column headers above your timeline. Go to Columns and enable Switches and Parent and Link options. Now click here to make it 3D. Next, duplicate the text layer by pressing Ctrl plus D. Move the duplicated layer underneath the original and rename it to Moon Depth. Open this layer's properties and go to Geometry Options, then set the Extrusion Depth to 1000. This creates a thick 3D look. Note, this only works with shape layers, text, or vector artwork. If both layers look visually merged, change the color of the original text layer to differentiate them. I'm choosing a light shade for contrast, which we'll refine later. Now it's time to animate. First, create a new camera using the 15 millimeter preset. It gives a nice wide angle depth. Then create a null object and name it camera controller. Make sure to enable the 3D switch for the null object as well. Now parent the camera to this null layer. This allows us to animate the camera movement using just the null. Open the camera controller's transform settings. We'll animate both position and X rotation. Start by adjusting the position to make the text appear larger in the frame. The first frame looks good. Now we will add some keyframes here. Move to the one second mark and add a keyframe for X rotation. Set to around 25 degrees. Also add a position keyframe. Now jump back to the first frame. Change the X rotation to 95 degrees and adjust the position to move the camera farther away. Press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes and adjust them for smoother transitions. Once you're happy with the motion, select all keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor. If it doesn't look right, right-click inside and choose Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the curves to create a nice acceleration and deceleration. This adds professional polish to the animation. Let's now enhance the 3D feel by adding lights. Create a new light, choose Point Light, and hit OK. Then open the light settings and change the color for a stylized glow. If your scene looks too dark, bump the intensity up to 300. Duplicate this light and reposition it to another area. This way you'll have one light hitting from the top and another from the bottom giving the 3D object more definition and mood. You can also give the second light a different color to make the design more dynamic. Take your time adjusting light positions and colors to match your desired aesthetic. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with fellow motion designers. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, good luck and peace.